Contact Log Notification System in Aptora Mobile 2 Training Video. Video Overview The purpose of this training video is to provide Aptora Mobile 2 users with a clear understanding of how to use the Contact Log Notification System feature in the Aptora Mobile 2 website. This training video is divided into four sections. Section 1 Contact Log Notification System Summary and User Security Setup. Section 2 Creating the Contact Log Notification System User List. Section 3 Contact Log Notification System Usage. And Section 4 Contact Log Notification System Lists. Upon completion of this training video, users should have a practical working knowledge of how to use the features described by each section mentioned a moment ago. At this time, log in to the Aptora Mobile 2 website and proceed to the dashboard to begin Section 1. Section 1 Contact Log Notification System Summary and Setup. Before moving from the dashboard to look at the additional features associated to the Contact Log Notification System, let's first consider what this feature is designed to allow users to do. The Contact Log Notification System provides users with the ability to create a list of Aptora Mobile 2 users that will be notified each time a contact log entry is made for a certain customer job or work order. In order to use this feature, users will need to have the relative security permissions enabled. At this time, from the dashboard, select the More Data View, followed by the Security Data View, and then select the User Permissions Data View option. Next, choose an Aptora Mobile 2 user to be directed to the User Permissions form page. Users will need to have the third security permission from the top of the User Permissions list selected to use this feature. The permission is entitled Contact Log Notification System and includes View, Edit, and Add Permissions. Select all the permissions that apply to a particular user. Next, be sure that users have permissions to view, add, and edit customer contact log and work order contact log entries. These permissions are critical for using the contact log notification system feature. After verifying and selecting the permissions for the user, select the Save button, followed by the Home button, to return to the Dashboard menu and move on to Section 2. Section 2. Creating the Contact Log Notification System User List The next step in setting up the Contact Log Notification System is to create the User Notification List. This list represents users to be notified when contact log entries are made, thus allowing the listed users to stay informed as to the progress of a work order or customer job in real time. User notification lists will need to be created for each customer job and new work order as each list is specific to these contact logs. We will begin by setting up the contact log notification system user list for a customer job, followed by a work order. To create a list of users to be notified when a specific customer job contact log entry is made, from the dashboard, select the More data view, 
followed by the lists data view. At this point, users will either select the customer jobs data view or work orders data view to continue. For this example, select the customer jobs data view and then choose a customer job from the list that is displayed. After choosing a customer job, the customer form will display. Scroll to the bottom of the customer form and select the contact log data view option. Upon selecting the contact log data view option, the user is directed to the customer contact logs form page. Users will then select the manage notifications data view displayed at the top of the form page. Before doing so, notice that there is a number to the right of the data view title indicating how many users have been set up already on this list. If you are following along right now, your list should say zero. Now select the Manage Notifications data view option. After selecting the Manage Notifications data view, users are directed to the Job Log Notification list, where you should see no user results are listed. As you can see on my screen, there are four notifications already set up. In order to add users to this list, users will need to select the Add button from the top right corner of the page to be directed to the Customer Log Notifications form page where users to be notified are added. Select inside the User field and choose a user to be notified when customer contact log entries are made for this customer job. Next, select the Contact Methods field drop-down and select a method by which the user is to be contacted. Finally, choose the appropriate toggle options to include full contact log text and whether the feature is disabled for the user. When disabled is toggled to the Yes position, the user is not permitted to use the feature for the customer job selected. After making the appropriate selections, click the Save button from the top right corner of the page to save the form changes and be returned to the form in Save mode to review the changes. Now select the Home button to be returned to the dashboard. At this time, we will set up a user to be notified when a work order contact log entry is made. As you will notice, the navigation and workflow will be processed in much the same way. From the dashboard, select the More data view, followed by the Lists data view, and then select the Work Orders data view option. Next, select a work order from the list that displays. When the work order form page opens, scroll down and select the contact log data view option. Next, select manage notifications. Select the add button on the job log notification list page and then add a user, contact method, and select yes or no to include full contact log text. Finally, click the Save button and the user is now added to the work order contact log notification system user list. At this time, select the Home button to be returned to the dashboard. Section 3, Contact Log Notification System Usage. Now that we have set up the Contact Log Notification System feature, Security Permissions, for a user, 
and have added a user to be notified when contact log entries are made for a specific work order and customer job, let's take a look at how this functionality works in Aptora Mobile 2. From the dashboard, select the More data view, followed by the Lists data view, and then choose Customer Jobs. Select the customer job that you chose from Section 2. When the customer form displays, scroll down and select the contact log data view. When the customer contact logs form page displays, select the add button from the top right corner and then add a contact log entry. Select the Save button on the contact log form when finished. After selecting the Save button, users are returned to the Customer Contact Logs form page. At this time, select the Home button to be returned to the dashboard. As you may have seen, I logged in as the Administrator User to begin this training video. The administrator user account I am using was also added as a user to be contacted using the contact log notification system feature for the customer job I just added a contact log entry for. Now on the dashboard to the far right of the my notifications data view a number is displayed indicating the user has notifications. Now if necessary and if you've been following along you may log in as the user set up and added to the customer contact log notification user list. Upon login, the user should also see a number displayed to the far right of the My Notifications data view, indicating the feature is functioning correctly and the user has been notified of the recently created customer contact log entry. At this time, select the My Notifications Data View option to proceed to the Job Contact Logs page. From here, the user will see the contact log entry made for the customer job and may select the contact log entry for further review and editing. Upon selecting the contact log entry, users are directed to the customer contact log entry form and provided that the user has edit permissions for the customer contact log entries the user has the ability to edit the contact log entry. One final item to mention is the red field on the contact log entry. In order for users to remove the entry from the my notifications and Notifications list, users will need to select this toggle option to Yes. At this time, select this option and then select the Home button to be returned to the dashboard. Upon return to the dashboard, notice that the My Notifications data view now displays a zero indicating all user-specific notifications have been read. This functionality works the exact same way for work order contact log entries made. Simply select the work order notifications were set up for, add a work order contact log entry, return to the dashboard, select the My Notifications data view, followed by the contact log entry, and then select Yes on the red field to indicate the contact log entry has been read. 
At this time, select the Home button to return to the dashboard if you have not previously done so to begin Section 4. Section 4, Contact Log Notification System Lists. The Contact Log Notification System Lists can be accessed from two different options in Aptora Mobile 2. The first we have already looked at, and that is the My Notifications Data View option displayed on the dashboard. This list will only display notifications specific to the user logged in. The main contact log notifications list is found from the dashboard at More, Lists, Notifications, and displays all contact log notifications for all users set up to use the feature. Users with the appropriate permissions may view, edit, and select red, yes or no for all messages displayed in this list. At this time, users may return to the dashboard menu. More features are planned to be added to the contact log notification system feature in the future, and this training video will prepare users for the functionality that is coming. If you have any questions or concerns about this feature, or to inquire about Aptora's other great products and services, please visit our website or contact an Aptora sales representative.